What's going on guys? It's Andrew here and welcome back to another update on stimulus and social security changes. Bernie Sanders is now trying to include a $1,000 stimulus check specifically for seniors who are 65 years and older. Now we've talked about this in my previous video. Today we're going to do a quick update on where things stand today with negotiations and whether or not we might see this in this next stimulus package. So let's discuss the details in this video, but before we do, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. I also have a second channel, so if you could do me a huge favor, click on the link that's in the description of this video go ahead and subscribe to my second channel. I'm going to be giving away a stimulus check on that channel just as a thank you for supporting my work. Okay, before we jump into an update on that stimulus check for seniors, let's do a quick update on daily trending news. And guys, you've probably heard at this point that President Biden is doing really, really bad in the polls. His approval rating is down to about 46%. And a lot of experts are saying that the fact that Biden is going down in the polls and the fact that Biden has made a couple of mistakes so far into his presidency is setting the stage for Trump to make a comeback in 2024. Now, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do you think Trump's going to run again in 2024? Do you think he would win if he did? And do you agree with some analysts who are saying that because President Biden has made some mistakes already, he is kind of setting the stage for President Trump to make a comeback and actually win in 2024? Let me know your thoughts on that in the comments. It's going to be really, really interesting to see what happens as President Biden has dipped in the polls it's going to be interesting to see if he can make a comeback and kind of rebound if he gets this next stimulus package approved. Now, one thing that Democrats are trying to include in the stimulus package is a bill that would lower prescription drug prices. Now, of course, this would be a massive help for seniors who spend a massive portion of their budget on prescription drugs. As Democrats are writing the details of the stimulus package, a committee in the House held a vote on this particular bill, and it did not even pass that committee, meaning if it can't even pass this one committee, it's definitely not going to pass in the House at large. And this is one of those bills that Democrats need to get done without losing a single Democratic vote. No Republicans going to vote for this. So the only way Democrats are going to get it done is if they're completely united in doing so. And three Democrats voted no. Now Bernie Sanders is fuming saying that it is unacceptable that Democrats in the House are not voting to lower prescription drug costs. And Bernie Sanders just went off on Twitter saying, let me ask you a question. Are you satisfied with a system that allows the pharmaceutical industry to charge you $98 for the same vial of insulin that the Canadian people get for about $12? He also said, that the business model of the pharmaceutical industry is a fraud. Their greed is literally killing Americans. They have spent billions buying politicians and several of their executives became billionaires during the pandemic. Their days of calling the shots in D.C. must come to an end. He also posted a video with the title, It's Time to End Their Greed. So let's take a quick look and see what Bernie Sanders had to say regarding prescription drug costs. Then we'll talk about the $1,000 stimulus check for seniors and what is happening with negotiations today. The pharmaceutical industry is the most profitable industry in this country. When we talk about the discuss with what's going on in Washington, this is what we are talking about. The pharmaceutical industry is spending in order to make sure we continue, A, to pay the highest prices in the world. This industry, which apparently cannot lower prescription drug costs for the dying and the suffering, have more than enough money to plaster the airwaves and newspapers with their advertising. As some of us lead the fight, against these outrageously high drug prices, the in industry is simply pouring more and more money into their effort to defeat us. Pharmaceutical industry spends more money on campaign contributions and lobbying than does any other industry. They are determined to do whatever they can to maintain their huge profit margins, even if it means that millions of Americans are unable to afford the prescription drugs that their doctors prescribe. The pharmaceutical industry, it seems to me, is rewriting the record books in terms of the huge amounts of money they are spending on advertising. In opposition to our legislation, they have run in the last few weeks alone millions of dollars in full-page newspaper ads all over this country. We're talking about the American people wanting real prescription drug reform, and we're talking about an industry that is spending so much money in campaign contributions and lobbying and advertising. The pharmaceutical industry, which is the most powerful lobby in Washington, is gearing up in order to make sure that Congress does not do the right thing. 
Needless to say, I intend to do everything I can to make sure that the Congress does the right thing. So as you can see, a lot of these clips that Bernie Sanders posted are from 20 years ago. This is nothing new. Bernie Sanders has been fighting for the American people to lower drug costs for over 30 years. And as he showed in this video, the amount of money that pharma companies are pouring into lobbying in D.C. has quadrupled over the last couple of decades. And they are spending billions of dollars to try and prevent people like Bernie Sanders from from lowering drug costs for the American people. Now, this issue is going to have massive impacts on this stimulus package because not only do Democrats want to lower prescription drug costs, they want to use those savings, which Medicare would save money by lowering drug costs, Medicare would spend less money on prescription drugs, and they want to use those savings to approve other things they want to put in the stimulus package. For example, they want to include dental, vision, and hearing care in Medicare. They also want to lower the age to 60. And the way they're going to pay for this is by saving Medicare money by lowering prescription drug costs, which would not only save the American people money, but also save Medicare money by spending less on medications. Now, Bernie Sanders is fuming because if this part doesn't pass, it's going to have a domino effect on the rest of the stimulus package. All of the things we just spoke about regarding health care will not be able to be included unless they're able to lower prescription drug costs. So although Democrats were not able to pass this yet, they continue to negotiate on this. So we're hoping that it still will make it into the final stimulus package once it's completely written. Now, another thing that Bernie Sanders is currently trying to include is a $1,000 stimulus check for seniors, specifically anybody who's on Medicare. Now, this is huge, huge news for seniors, as we've talked about so much stimulus that President Biden has promised. We've been waiting for the $200 per month stimulus for everybody on Social Security benefits. We've also been waiting for permanent Social Security increases across the board, which would include SSI and SSDI as well. And we're also waiting for a potential fourth stimulus check. Well, now Bernie Sanders is saying that seniors, everybody on Medicare, should get a $1,000 stimulus check, which they're calling a $1,000 cash voucher. Now, Bernie Sanders' reason for this is to help seniors pay for medical costs. Now, although Democrats plan to expand Medicare, the implementation of this expansion could take over a year, if not multiple years, to fully be implemented. And Bernie Sanders said that by giving seniors a $1,000 cash stimulus voucher, they could then use that money to immediately pay for health care costs while the new plan is being implemented. And Bernie was quoted as saying that what we're looking at is a $1,000 stimulus check right away so they can use that to go to the dentist if they cannot afford to go. Bernie said this would serve as a brief stopgap measure while the programs are being implemented. He said, in terms of the voucher, what we want to do is make sure that people understand the significance. So as a bridge, I think what we're looking at here is a $1,000 stimulus check right away. So you can use that to go to the dentist if you can't afford to go. That's very important, but maybe a bridge for a year. And by bridge, he's referring to the fact that the Medicare expansion would probably take over a year to implement. Now, as I said earlier, Democrats want to expand Medicare to cover dental, vision, and hearing benefits and include this in their stimulus package, this would widen the reach of the federal health insurance program, which is a top initiative of Bernie Sanders. Now, Bernie and fellow Senate Democrats want to implement this immediately, but Democrats in the House are saying that this could take multiple years to implement. And House Democrats said they would like to include vision care in 2022, hearing care in 2023, and dental care all the way out in 2028. Bernie Sanders completely rejected this idea and said we should be able to get all of them done within a year. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. But in Bernie's eyes, they could expand Medicare within 12 months and in the meantime, give seniors a $1,000 stimulus check to help them cover their medical costs in the meantime. Now, a lot of experts are saying that Democrats want to do this stimulus check specifically for seniors, not only to help the people who need help, but also to help Democrats win the midterm elections in 2022. Now, seniors are a massive voting block when it comes to elections. And those who are 65 and older tend to vote more than any other group of people in this country. So Democrats know that if they don't approve stimulus for seniors, it's most likely going to cost them these midterm elections in 2022, which could mean Democrats could lose the House. They could also lose the Senate. And at that point, we would probably not have any more stimulus for at least a few years until Democrats regained control once again. So bottom line here, if Democrats can come through 
and approved stimulus for seniors, they're probably going to get more seniors to vote in 2022, which means Democrats would maintain control of the House and the Senate, which would then allow them to approve even more stimulus next year. Now, whether or not you vote Democrat or Republican, the truth is that Democrats want to approve more stimulus and our chances of getting more stimulus are much higher if Democrats control Congress. Now, with that said, Democrats are still in the process of putting together the details of this stimulus package. And Senator Ron Wyden, who is actually the Senate Finance Committee chair, who is in charge of writing one of the biggest portions of the stimulus package, said he's talking with Bernie Sanders about the best way to get this $1,000 stimulus check included and make it run as quickly and as efficiently as possible. He's also working with Bernie Sanders to expand Medicare as quickly as possible. And he referenced the fact that the Affordable Care Act, a.k.a. Obamacare, took four years to fully implement. They don't want that to happen with Medicare. They want to hit the ground running and get this expansion done within 12 months. And again, give people a $1,000 stimulus check in the meantime, specifically for every senior who's on Medicare. Senator Ron Wyden is a huge proponent of Social Security and Medicare. And the good news is he is the Senate Finance Committee chair and is in charge of putting together a large part of this stimulus package. So guys, we have top Democratic officials who are in charge of writing this stimulus package who are strong supporters of expanding Medicare and strong supporters of expanding Social Security benefits. And Ron Wyden recently released a statement saying that Congress must work hand in hand with President Biden to ensure that Medicare and Social Security benefits will keep the promises made to workers, seniors, and people with disabilities to ensure a dignified retirement and high-quality health benefits. So all of this bodes well for seniors, guys. We have Bernie Sanders pushing for a $1,000 stimulus check for seniors, and he is working with Senator Ron Wyden, who is in charge of putting together a large part of the stimulus package. He's working with Ron Wyden to include this $1,000 check in the next stimulus package. Now, currently, Democrats are negotiating the details of what's going to be included, so things continue to develop, and we should know, according to Nancy Pelosi, by the end of this week or next week, the exact details of that bill. Now, technically, the deadline for the details was yesterday. Now, Democrats have blown past that deadline just like we knew they would, but we do expect to have the details soon. Now, currently, President Biden is talking to Senate Democrats, trying to convince them to approve a $3.5 trillion budget. And Nancy Pelosi is negotiating with the House, trying to get Republicans and Democrats to vote for both of these bills. Remember, although Democrats do not need a single Republican vote to get the budget reconciliation package done, they do need Republican votes in the House to get the physical stimulus package done. Now, a lot of Republicans are grumbling, saying that the fact that Nancy Pelosi is linking the physical stimulus plan with the American Family Stimulus Plan is becoming an issue, and they're actually saying they might not vote for the physical stimulus plan now. Now, that's a huge issue because not only Republicans, but Democrats need to get that physical stimulus plan done if they hope to get reelected in 2022. Now, at the same time, moderates are saying they don't want to vote for the American Family Stimulus Plan in the House. And they're saying that Nancy Pelosi is partnering too much with progressives and moderates are worried that if they vote for these progressive agendas, they're going to lose their own reelections in their home states. And the way this works is even if something doesn't fully go into law, if a representative in the House votes for a progressive bill, even if it doesn't fully get approved, when they go back home and try and get reelected, they end up running against Republicans because they come from moderate states. Now, these Republicans will call them out if they voted for progressive bills. And therefore, moderate Democrats in the House don't even want to vote for a progressive bill unless they know it's fully going to be approved. So they're telling Nancy Pelosi... Pelosi, don't even make us vote for a progressive bill. Before you make us vote on these, make sure that Joe Manchin and the other Democrats in the Senate will vote to fully approve it as well. Otherwise, you're just shooting us in the foot. You're going to make us vote for a progressive bill that will never become law anyway. Then we're going to go home. Republicans are going to slam us for voting for a Republican bill. And then we're going to lose re-election. We're going to lose our seats. The Democrats are going to lose control of the House. So bottom line here, Nancy Pelosi is trying to thread the needle and see how much compromise she can get from moderates without them risking their 
seats in the House next year when these re-elections take place in 2022. Now, Nancy Pelosi previously set a deadline to have the details by September 15th. Of course, we did not hit that deadline. And now we're working under the second deadline of getting the entire thing done by September 27th. So quite frankly, guys, it's not looking good. The fact that they want to have the entire stimulus package done in 11 days and they still don't even have fully the details written out really does not look like a good sign. Now, one issue that Nancy Pelosi is going to face is that she promised moderates to have a vote on the physical stimulus plan by September 27th. So then her plan was then to get the American Family Stimulus Plan approved first. That way they know that's done and they've got that locked in. Then they can go ahead and approve the physical stimulus plan now that they've guaranteed that the American Family Stimulus Package was approved. Well, now the issue is it's not looking like the American Family Stimulus Plan is going to be approved by September 27th. So then Nancy Pelosi is going to have a decision to make. Is she going to break her promise with moderates and not hold a vote on the physical stimulus plan? Or will she hold the vote as promised on September 27th get the physical stimulus plan approved and then risk losing moderate votes for the American Family Stimulus Plan afterwards. Because remember, once moderates get the physical stimulus plan done, they're going to have less incentive to vote for the American Family Stimulus Plan because they're not really too worried about that. What they really want is the physical stimulus plan. And then we have progressives pushing for the American Family Stimulus Plan, which will have direct stimulus payments. So guys, with that said, things are continuing to develop. Bernie Sanders is still pushing for this $1,000 stimulus check for seniors and we should have a lot of updates in the next couple of weeks so don't forget to subscribe and i will keep you posted on the next two stimulus packages social security changes and daily news updates as well and guys thank you so much for watching and until the next video take care and have a great day